Um, good evening, Mr. Keller. So, how are we doing tonight? <coughs> Dying. <coughs> you? You're all right, Doc. You remind me of a medic we had back in Nam in 72. He was a little wet behind the ears like you, <coughs> but he was a good kid. You were in the war, Mr. Keller? Damn right I was. In the jungle, at night, there ain't nothing blacker. And the things we did back then, well, and we lost some things. Innocence, regret. Some of us came back with more than we left with, too. What do you mean, Mr. Keller? When you fight in the jungle, Doc, you gotta be a stone killer, because no one else comes out. And when you awaken the bloodlust in a man, nothing else is real. Not the girl you left behind, your squad mates. The only thing that's real is the blood. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? You will. <laughs> oh boy, now you got the feeling. <laughs> Get on to you. <laughs> What a mess. It took us an hour to clean it all up. You missed a spot. I thought you had tonight off. What are you doing here? Well, Carl's sick. Jamal is in a conference and Bob was in surgery all day, so he's home sleeping. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. I'll be alright. Honest. Okay. Call me if you need anything. Doctor! Oh, damn. Another bleeder. Clam. Clam. Are you alright, Doctor? Gauze. Yeah, I'm fine, Cindy. Gauze. It's just that I've never seen you like this before. Uh-huh. Got, uh, can I get some suction here, nurse? Are you sure that you're... <gasps> Doctor! What? You, you, you're just... The scalpel! <sighs> For fuck's sake. Now look what you made me do. Me? But doctor, Enough. I just... Get out! Go. <laughs> Cindy, what the hell happened in there? It took me 45 minutes to recover from your screw-ups. That patient was nearly worth, I mean, lost. Me? What are you talking about? Your hand was shaking so bad you nearly knit the aorta twice. Are you high? <laughs> I'm not on drugs, Cindy. But I am feeling something uh, never experienced before. You know, that is the stupidest and worst time come on I've ever heard in my life. You nearly lost a patient. You're trying to blame me, and now you want to fuck me? Sandy, Sandy, you misunderstand me. This is about something way more meaningful. 
Like the quickie on the cafeteria table last month. I get more meaning out of my little friend with batteries. So whatever it is, go home and sleep it off. Wow, Cindy. You must be right. I am feeling bad, because I didn't just kill you then. But you're going to bleed and bleed and bleed. Cindy, my God, what the... Oh, my God, are you bleeding? Beth, my God, Beth, Ray's gone insane. We've got to get out of here. Doors are locked. Phones are dead, too. We'll, ha we'll have to go out to the kitchen. Come on. We're going to get out of here and everything is going to be okay. All right? Take this. Calm down. You trust me. Okay. You keep going that way. I'm going to go back and try to draw them off. When you get out, call the cops. Call everybody, okay? But what about you? I'm going to make myself a little midnight. Now go. What took you so long? I waited as long as I could. You're such a sweetie. Mm. So now what? <laughs> I've got keys to the children's wing. <laughs> it's a jungle out there, baby. Let's go hunting. <laughs>